Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30 size 10 dry fly hook. I've got Shea 40 knot brown. This is a CDC Mayfly. We'll just attach our tying thread. Work our way back just so we get a little foundation. Remove that. Then what we need is some moose body hair. Look for black when you're buying this with fine tapered tips. Just a little bunch in the stacker. You can remove it this way because all the ends are lined up. Uh, now I use more than uh, three here. I like to use a little bunch to keep the fly afloat properly. It wants to be about two times the length of the hook shank. So we just put two or three turns in there, check the length, that will do us nicely. We want to go back, not tightening too much, otherwise you'll flare the moose hair. And we don't want it flaring too much. That will do us nicely. And we can go back, we want to go forward a wee ways. Just go over the hairs, collecting them up, like so. And then we'll gather these up and just trim them off. Spin my tying thread anti-clockwise, flatten it. Just go over the ends. I want to work my way forward just to look uh, no, a few mill a millimetres back from the hook eye. So I've got three CDC ankles that I've gathered together. This will be the first wing. This wants to be about the length of the hook shank. So what I want to do firstly is just tie this in, work my way back a little bit just to secure it, and then I'll cut this off at an angle. That will give us the thick taper on the body. Just go over those ends, like so. Then we can lift this wing, check it out. Yeah, that's good. Go a little bit further forward. And then we'll come up in front. And then we'll just go around the base of the wing, as you would with a parachute post, just to gather the CDC together and then we'll lock that off. Now I've got three more CDC hackles. You don't need super quality hackles for this as long as you've got the length on them. Just check that length there and we'll tie these in again here right at the base of the previous. That'll do me just nicely. Tie those down again and then we lift these Careful you don't take the tails with you. Trim those off again. And we can go over. Work our way up. And we'll separate this wing out again. Go a little bit further forward with it. So it balances with the other wing. Just gather that up. Come over. And around the base again. that off. That's good. That's looking good. Those will be lifted up. Lift them up, go in front, build a little stopper. That's looking excellent. Very, very good. So now we go back. This is a very good uh, done pattern, especially in 
uh, slower flowing water. You can use it on quicker flowing water, but it's such a floatable pattern. There we are, good. Then what I need is I've got some Wine 3O uh, Uni Mono Thread. And we take a short length of that. What we do is we just put that behind our tying thread. And we pull it up, put it in position at the tail base. Even up the ends of it. So they're equal lengths. And then we can just secure that with a couple of turns of tying thread. Then what we do is we bring this forward a little bit as I want to make a couple of turns of dubbing. Behind that off, catching a couple of fibres there, and the CDC, we don't want that, let's break those off, there we go, that's excellent, then I'm going to use some uh, fly right, super fine, uh, light car hill, or cream dubbing, you need a dry fly dubbing for this. Get your rib thread out the way. And then we just take our dubbing and we just attach it to the thread and then we'll slide it up before we spin the rest of it. And we're just catching the end behind our rib. Like so. Then I can wind on the rest. I want this nice and tight. There we go, that'll do as nicely. And I'll just make the, I want to go a couple of turns quite loosely just over the tail first right at the tail base this will stop it flaring too much and then we'll move our way forward with a turn like that then we can take our rib and hang it out the way and we'll work our way up over the abdomen, tighten our thread up again, our dubbing sorry, I want this nice fat mayfly body effect happening here, right up into there, then we can go forward And then back again. Perfect. Then we can take our rib and we can put the first, just pull the fibres together, put the first segment in. We want a nice dark, thick dark band at the back, like that. And what we do is we twist our thread together to make it thinner and then we can go up over the body opening the segmenting as we go and when we get to the wing we can tie it off So, and we can come in, oops, don't want to get that CDC, remove the rib, then what we need is a golden badger hackle, you can use silver badger, I like the black uh, base on it when we're doing this, but before you tie it in, 
I like to strip off a little bit of barbules, just a short area on that side. What this does is it gives you a little space to begin to wrap before the heckle starts to splay. So we'll come in here to go a little ways back. Don't want to get that CDC. So we'll go over left to right, come around right to left, like so, and then we'll come in, we'll lock it off in front. That's looking good. And again, then we'll lift up the hackle stem and come forward, secure that, come in, trim that off, and we can just work our way forward like so. The wings are looking good. Turn it that way. Yeah, and we take our hackle. I, I use a little larger hackle for this than I would normally for the hook size. And go around. Not to get two or three turns in behind the wing. I can get one more in there. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll pull the wings back. I'll go in front. This hackle is big enough for me to hold it with my fingers rather than use a hackle plier. Like so, then we'll come up and tie in thread. Two or three turns over the hackle. Pull everything back. Front. Oops. Take our whip finisher. Oops. A little difficult for me to see when I'm tying from this angle for the camera. There we are. I can tighten that in. And give it one more. Thread. Position the hackle and the wings. Got a strand of that. If you can get hold of one of these clips, I've had it years, they are wonderful for removing small hackle barbules and bits. So once we're there, I need my long scissors and I come in on the underside Let's pull that hackle up now See there are a couple more there I have to take Cut these off close to the thorax Just like that that will do us very nicely. And that's it. That's the finished CDC Mayfly done. And it sits absolutely beautiful on the water. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching.